Hey everybody, welcome to Popcorn Planet. I'm Andy Signor, and we finally have our first exclusive image of King Kong versus Godzilla. Let's check out their scale. We're also going to talk about the potential new release date, because there's no way this movie is still coming out in November as planned. Before we get to all that, please do me a favor and go hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, welcome to, thanks so much for finding us, and welcome to Popcorn Planet, where we do all sorts of breaking news, movie analysis. You can also subscribe to our second channel, Movie World, where we go a little deeper to 80s films, 90s films, uh, up to 2000. A lot of fun analysis over there uh but let's get to the topic at hand this first image dropped uh of godzilla versus king kong now this image uh was pulled uh from the back of a promotional toy item so uh while this is not from the movie this isn't an image like promotional image from the movie you're not going to potentially see this scene directly uh it is uh from you know the studio because it's there it's part of marketing the toys uh which you can see here uh this is from the back of the box of one of the toys the toys have begun to leak just because of of the film being delayed so long, uh, a lot of these toy manufacturers couldn't stop it. So there's a lot of toys sort of secretly out there. Uh, there were books that have been delayed, etc. that the studio is feverishly trying to delay to not have spoilers. Uh, I'm not going to get into spoilers, but there's going to be a lot of monsters in this one. It's not just these two. Um, and it seems pretty clear that the two are going to fight. We'll see how long. I hope they really just let them fight for a long time. But at some point, they're clearly going to probably just team up and take on a bigger bad guy is what I, I imagine is going to happen. But I hope I hope it's something a little bit more creative than that. But we shall see. Uh, the back of this box even shows uh, tells us a little bit more about the film. Legends collide as Godzilla and Kong, the two most powerful forces of nature, clash in a spectacle uh, in a spectacular battle for the ages. The monster war fa uh, rages on on the surface. And they're, uh, sorry, I'm trying to read this. And deep within our world as the spectacular secret realm of the Titans known as the Hollow Earth is revealed. Woo, what does that mean? Look, I'm not a huge Godzilla guy. I, I've seen I've seen some, uh, not as much of the classic ones, but I'm talking about the more recent ones. Uh, all the new ones, including Roland Emmerich's. I mean, I liked it as a kid. It was a distraction. It's a dumb movie, though. Uh, but I'm not like a classic, you know, King Kong or Godzilla guy. Uh, I've, I've, been, I've seen, I saw King Kong, I saw the original King Kong and the original Godzilla, but not none of the sequels to Godzilla. Uh, but look, I'll be honest, this looks fun. This looks fun. It's like Pacific Rim style. I, I just want to have a fun Godzilla versus Kong. And I, I would prefer Kong to be a little smaller to him because he's more agile, right? He can get in there with strong arms and try and really get in there to take on, take on Godzilla. Uh, but I'm kind of, it, it does feel like Godzilla has shrunk. And, and Kong has, you know, gotten larger. Uh, apparently, uh, when I, when I, uh, someone who sent this to me, thank you, uh, Lieutenant Wolf, uh, who sort of, when I tweeted this out, uh, corrected that, uh, this is not official. This is, uh, um, from concept art that's now on the, f on the back of the toys. Um, but, uh, Godzilla is bigger and larger than Kong and Kong and Kong's head is not that big. So they've confirmed this and here's the banner from the film where, I mean, they look pretty similar to me, but clearly Kong's head, or, I'm sorry, Godzilla's head is bigger, um, with, uh, Godzilla, with Kong, not as large. And the, with the perception here, they're not really side by side. I, mean, I guess they are. It, look, he f they look pretty sim similarly matched to me. Um, and I guess you want their mouths to be as their, their jaws, right? Their teeth to be as matched as possible. Uh, one will fall. Ooh. I mean, come on. It's clearly, if we're taking bets, if we're taking bets on who's going to fall. I mean, Godzilla wins, right? He's the king of the monsters. Uh, I still think Godzilla is going to ultimately win, but then Kong's going to sort of team up and they're going to realize there's a greater threat. That's how these movies always go. But if they give us what we want, it's just a monster battle. I, I don't care the reason. Make them fight each other. Uh, and let's even fight each other. Save the team up for a later movie. Stretch it out. Do another one later. This is Godzilla versus Kong. I don't want a bunch of other monsters. And I'm worried it sounds like they're going to give us a lot of damn monsters. If you remember at the end of, what was the last one? Uh, King Godzilla, King of All Monsters, right? They found the 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 part, which just implies, are they going to make like Mechazilla, make a sort of their own version of Godzilla? I mean, I, I'm not, a, look, let me, let me clarify. Sure, bring it on. Let's get silly and let's make a fun monster movie. But I don't need that yet. We've been building up to Godzilla versus Kong. Let's do a good Godzilla versus Kong. No? Or do you want to throw in Mechazilla and a bunch of other ones too, in theory? I, I, to me, it's a lot. That, to me, should be the next one, right? That should be Godzilla versus Kong too. Have a winner. Have, you know, then let's do Rocky 2, where they get a rematch. 
Uh, and then they team up because they realize, oh, I guess, you know, at this, why are we fighting? We got this bigger threat. Let's take it out. And then we, at least we got a one where they, they, they fought each other. So I'm of the school of let's see them, let them fight, as Ken Watanabe would say. Um, but uh, I got to say, though, I do like this, like, aircraft carrier thing. It doesn't make any damn sense. <laughs> it doesn't make any, it doesn't make a lick of sense how this aircraft carrier could sustain the heft of both King Kong and Godzilla. Uh, and it looks like it's a aircraft carrier. Am I crazy? Like, it looks like there's water here. I can't, it won't let me zoom in further. Uh, it looks like there's water here. There's planes on it. I mean, my God, what kind of carrier could have them both on it? But that's the reality too. You got to have like, well, where, how, where are they fighting? Uh, and yeah, I mean, to have, it does look like the, the, the scales don't match the previous movies. Somehow he's shrunk and he's, or he's large. I, I don't know. But it's also interesting because they're calling him Giant Kong. Does this imply he gets bigger? Like they do an experiment on him to make him bigger in the movie at some point. We see him sort of Kong Skull Island size before that. Uh, there's a lot to speculate here. There's a lot that could still happen uh, in this monster verse that Legendary is putting together. Uh, but I, I got to admit, I, I, I kind of want to see this. I mean, I want to see any movie right now because we've been stuck at home, locked away from movies. I cannot wait to get back in the theaters and see some movies. I'm probably going to be a little bit more generous to some of these dumb blockbusters than I would have been had they come out on time. Um, but let's talk about when this movie is going to come out. Shall we do that next? Because the reality is, um, oh, and just to, to say that they did leak some footage at CCHXP, which is like this uh, um, ex ex uh, exhibitor uh, thing. Uh, so they leaked some footage, they screened some footage, and this is a reel, and it does show that two Titans are now nearly the same size. Um, it's been delayed, delayed uh, still, but it's still delayed. But um, they, they, the footage here says that uh, it was, uh, they showed some footage there and there's, they do, it can be seen engaging in an epic brawl. It's also pr pretty clear the two Titans are now nearly the exact same size, towering size. So we do know that's sort of been happening. It's been pointed out before that Kong is still growing ahead of Godzilla versus Kong, having only been an adolescent giant ape when we last saw him in Skull Island and just 104 feet tall in order to practically fight with Godzilla who has the king of the monsters is 393 feet tall. Kong certainly had some growing to do. Judging by these glimpses of their fourth uh, coming showdown, uh, throwdown in Godzilla versus Kong, though it's it's he's been eating his Wheaties. At the end of Godzilla, Godzilla saw his, his Godzilla takes his place as Alpha over the other Titans on Earth. Uh, he does this by defeating uh, Ghidorah, who is, is revealed was an alien creature and therefore a false Alpha anyway. Uh, I forgot even about that, but yeah, they did reveal that. So could they bring him back as a sort of something else? Is what sort of the thoughts are. Uh, because there was that cut scene at the end where they, they catch the bad guy, catches, you know, finds the the piece or finds the other. I, I don't even remember it, to be honest. I just, I like seeing the fights. I don't care about all the world building. Just, just give me the monsters. Um, but when is this going to come out is the question. Uh, and as MovieWeb puts together, uh, good on them, good research here that uh, I have to, I have to second. Um, they, uh, they're definitely going to delay this. I mean, I, I obviously, but. Uh, obviously merchandise is, brings in big money for these movies. And so we've seen a lot of spoiler heavy toys. I'm not going to go there. You guys can look them up if you want to. Don't spoil it in the comments below. Uh, but, uh, cause I haven't even watched them re gone that far. Uh, this was not a spoiler where it's, it's an image of the two people in the, in the title. So we knew it's coming. Uh, Recently, an Amazon listing for a book, The Art of Godzilla, showed up on Reddit. As the post points out, the book was originally set to arrive on November 17th, three days before the movie's t November 20th release date, which it's still currently uh, listed as, I believe. It's now been pushed, the book has now been pushed back to May 21st. That date also happens to belong to uh, Matrix 4, which has pushed. Uh, another Warner Brothers movie. So the sequel had to hit the pause button in filming several weeks ago. So that got pushed. Now I, I, it seems clear that uh, Godzilla versus Kong has been pushed there. I looked, I couldn't see that confirmed. It doesn't seem like they have confirmed a new date. Um, but I do remember he's hearing that matrix four was going to get delayed. Um, so what would Warner brothers, did they put, did I miss that? Anyway, sorry if I'm, I'm not up to date on the move, but it seems clear that that would make most sense. Move Godzilla to the matrix four slot. Matrix four still isn't done shooting. So they're gonna have to delay that till later. Everything's getting pushed a year or so. Um, that date would make sense. And that way it gives us more time to sort of to get it out there. But they're going to have to hide all this stuff out there, which is clearly going to be hard to do. 
because we're stuck. Uh, Adam Wingard is directing the movie. Millie Bobby Brown and Kyle Chandler return from King, from King of Monsters with Julian Dennison. Uh, that's he's the one from uh, The Wilder People, right? Uh, Brian Terry Ter- Hen- Henry, uh, Damian Bichur, uh, Alexander Skarsgård, Aliza Gonzalez, Jessica Henwick, uh, ooh, from uh, Iron Fist, uh, Rebecca Hall, and Lance Reddick rounding out the cast. We'll be sure to keep you posted, as will I. Uh, but there you go. That's So the date will definitely most likely change. Uh, but what do you think of this image? Does this image get you pumped? Does this scale look legit? Uh or do you feel like this is not good enough? I want to hear all your thoughts down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. You can hit me up on social media as well. we got lots more coming. So like I said, please subscribe. Uh, I'll put it up right here. Subscribe uh, down up. I don't know. You'll see it. Just click the logo. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Talk to you soon.